Hey, what's up, you guys? Sam Caboose here, bringing you another gameplay commentary. Two uploads in one day. That's what's up. <laughs> um, so what we got in the background here is seven new skins plus Scorpion gameplay. So the seven skins contain three of the uh, Blackest Night skins from the Blackest Night pack that came out today, and then three of the Red Sun pack, the, the Red Sun 2. So this is three new Red Sun skins for... Batman, Green Lantern, and Deathstroke, and then the Blackest Night skins are for Flash, uh, Doomsday, and Superman. <laughs> uh, it took me a while to think about that, but yeah, so we got those six skins, plus the free skin that came with Scorpion today, which was the Doomsday Containment skin, which is awesome. Uh, for those of you who don't know, and I, I, I never really seen this myself, but a lot of people have talked about it. Where if you were to pick Doomsday's original costume and then Doomsday's regime costume on the Fortress of, uh, Fortress of Solitude map, uh, the Doomsday that's in the background of that map is the containment skin. So that's cool. I never knew that. I never really thought about picking those two characters on that map. Uh, so yeah, that's awesome. And now it's a skin. Um, the Let's talk about the skins really quick. The Blackest Night pack. Wow amazing uh, at first it was really glitching out earlier today where if you were to pick flash every time you try to do an attack he just completely freezes like literally like the game doesn't freeze but your character freezes and he just like stops moving in the middle of his uh, his attack um, but it's fixed as you can see when uh, I, I, I'm not watching the gameplay right now but when I pick flash you can see it's working perfectly fine uh, the doomsday Blackest Night skin, I'm not sure because I never read Blackest Night yet, but I believe Doomsday isn't in that. I might be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know if Doomsday is in the Blackest Night um, comic, but uh, I mean he might be, I never read it like I said. And the last one, which is the Superman Blackest Night skin, is awesome, super cool. Uh, I love the emblem that it, um, it shows when you have your super at the bottom. You know, for your super, like the emblem for the Blackest Knight, Superman is awesome. Um, the Red Sun 2. This is quite possibly one of my favorite skin packs of all time, just because of Batman and Green Lantern. I don't really, I mean, Deathstroke's skin is alright. He kind of looks like Cabal from Mortal Kombat. Uh, I don't know, I just, the, the mask kind of looks like that. Um, but yeah, he looks alright. I don't really use Dex, uh, Deathstroke too often, but he looks like, you know, cool. Uh, Green Lantern's Red Sun skin and Batman's Red Sun skin is awesome. So cool. It's honestly it's so much fun. If you if you're a frequent black uh ba black man, <laughs> if you're a frequent Batman player or a frequent Green Lantern player, that skin pack alone is so worth it because they're both two of the best skins I've ever seen in the game. Um, like I said, the Doomsday Containment skin is really cool. I don't use Doomsday that often, uh, but moving on from that, we're going to talk about Scorpion. So there is a Scorpion gameplay within this mix of uh, gameplays of uh, the skins, and I am playing as him. He's a lot of fun, okay? And this is what people weren't getting with my thoughts on the reveal trailer. I said he looked fun. He looks a ton of fun, and he is. He's so much fun to play as. His combos run extremely smooth, much better than they would in uh, Mortal Kombat 9. But he does not fit in this game. He is not, like, there should be, there's so much better choices they could have in this game other than Scorpion. You know, like I said, with Batgirl, she doesn't, she not even close to my favorite character, but she's a lot of fun doesn't mean that she is a completely great choice for a DLC character. Of course not. No. Would you rather have Scorpion in the game or Martian Manhunter or Static Shock or Red Hood or friggin' Zatanna? I can go on and on and on. Swamp Thing. Like, just so many other characters. You know, Atroc uh Dark Side, friggin', I don't know, uh, Brainiac. Like, anybody anybody other than that uh scorpion like i said he's a ton of fun um i've landed a few good combos with him he does do quite like a low amount of damage but you know he's quick he's fast uh a lot of people are just spamming the teleport 
with him, which is a little bit annoying, but it's whatever, you know, you got to handle it. Uh, so, yeah, he's a lot of fun, but he just, like, over anybody else that could have been in this game, I wouldn't choose him. So that's just my personal opinion, and I have to, like, I have to make videos, endless amount of videos, so that people understand that, because just countless amount of people drop ignorant comments when they don't even know that I'm just expressing what I think. I'm not telling you that you have to agree with what I'm saying. You know, I'm not saying, listen, Scorpion's bad. Don't buy him. You're not allowed to. I'm saying, listen, guys, he, there's much better choices for Scorp uh, other than Scorpion to be DLC characters. But um, moving on from that topic, uh, I definitely do think that he is a lot, like, I don't even know how to say this. He's just he's just a ton of fun. His stu his super st uh, still sucks in my opinion. But then again, you know, the better players in Injustice usually waste all their meters on like special moves and stuff. And his uh, his moves are all like the same in Mortal Com uh, as in Mortal Kombat 9. You know, he has the get over here. He has the teleport punch. Uh, he has the fire coming from the ground. The slide trip. Um, so yeah. Uh, overall, the character is fun, you know, it is what it is, you know, that's it, um, moving on, is there going to be a second DLC pack, I don't know, they really teased at, uh, at the fact that there was going to be one at the end of the Martian Manhunter trailer, uh, so, I don't even know, um, I'm sure there will be. Either that or, like, either that or Martian Manhunter is going to be the last DLC character. But I'm pretty sure, because Ed Boon himself tweeted out, he said uh, that he was going to be announcing something else this week. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be Zod. Uh, I'm not, like, 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that he's going to announce Zod this week to come uh, next week, Tuesday. And then we're just going to move on maybe for, like, a month break. And then they're just going to start up the second season pass. Hopefully, I'm sure, like, Ed Moon is completely de denying the fact that uh, Sub-Zero is going to be in the game as he was rumored. So, I'm going to stick by his word this time, even though he lied about saying that there wasn't going to be any Mortal Kombat characters in Injustice. I'm going to stick by his word, and hopefully we don't get Sub-Zero in the second DLC pack. Which, I'm almost certain we won't, with the amount of hate that he got for having Scorpion in this game. I'm sure you wouldn't be stupid enough to add another DLC character that's from a Mortal Kombat game. So yeah, maybe that'll be removed and we'll just get another character that we like. Such as Static Shock, which was behind Red Red Hood in the poll that Ed Boon did. He got the second most votes in that poll. So maybe it'll be Red Hood, Martian Manhunter, Power Girl, and Static Shock. I'd love that. Even though I don't really like Power Girl, I think Zatanna should be replaced. Uh, for Power Girl, because Zatanna's way cooler, and Power Girl is kind of almost the same as Superman or Wonder Woman. But I rambled a lot. It's a long commentary. There isn't really one commentary topic that I can stick to for this entire thing. Hope you enjoyed the content that was going on in the background. Uh, I'm Amp Caboose. Like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later.